Hey everyone, I just got in a Skywatcher AZ GTI X. That is the dual saddle setup from Skywatcher that is only available across the pond. So I ordered it from First Light Optics. They got it here quick, one piece. Very happy with their service. I played around with it, unfortunately. She came with the clouds every night, so I haven't gotten to really use it, but I ran it through its paces inside and imaginary targets, and it does what it's supposed to do, it looks like. All right. So what we got is dual saddles. For some reason, they ship it with one horizontal and one vertical. But that's easy enough to change. It's got three set screws on the one side and you can just loosen them up and turn it to wherever you want it. It's got dual encoder technology, what they call that Freedom Find, where you loosen up the azimuth and you can turn it. You can loosen up the clutches, change the altitude, and it supposedly remembers what you were aiming at in the first place. Sounds good. This can be run off of eight AA batteries. I have a home-built power supply I use for things like this. And maybe if we, I'm righty, so we'll pop it in that way. It's not that difficult, really. <laughs> and on your control panel here, you got your on-off switch. You got a snap port so you can hook up a cable. Various cables for different cameras are available. And you control your camera off of that. It's got the external power port. That's uh, 7.5 to 14 volt DC, tip positive. And it's got your hookup if you want to use a hand controller. It seems like a pretty sturdy unit. So it weighs, what, two kilograms? It can handle 10 kilograms total or six kilograms on one side. It comes with this, I believe it's a 61 millimeter pier. It comes with an extra saddle. And let's move this stuff back. Comes with the L bracket. You can attach your camera, binoculars, scope to it, whatever. And I'd like to get a second one of these. Unfortunately, I don't see them available overseas or in the US of A. They have a different style green one with a round hub. Actually, the round hub would replace this piece and just go down here and that swivels. But they don't tell you what size it is. This is a 45 minute, uh, 45 millimeter uh, Vixen style dovetail. But they don't tell you what size that green one is. So I might have to roll the dice and order one up. We'll see what happens with that. And uh, unfortunately, that's all I can show you right now. This cloud is supposed to be moving in again tonight and tomorrow night. And Monday was looking good, but now it's looking like by dark, the clouds will be rolling in. So what I want to do is show it to you in action. Set up in my darker sky. It's a little, not too far from home. And uh, we'll get there early, set it up, and. I'll show you what I can show you. You run it off of the Skywatcher SinScan app, which is free, of course. And uh, you can also run it off of Sky Safari Pro. I think it'll run off of Plus. I'm using Sky Safari 6 Pro. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like $13. But uh, yeah, that it, it works off of that. And that also offers you more targets than the skin. skin yeah. I'll learn how to talk tomorrow. Sinscan app. Anyway, 
I think that'll do it. If not, I'll be back. Have a great day. Bye.